just uploaded a model on GrabCAD, so you can find it by going to grabcat.com and if you then search for sheet metal, you'll find here the, the sheet metal bracket that I already drawn in SOLIDWORKS and I'll show you how to draw it yourself right now. So I'll create a new part in SOLIDWORKS and then enter a sketch and create a couple of lines first. I want to have a, a center line from here to here. It should be roughly 100 because that's the height I want to give to this bracket. And then here I can already draw the line out of the bracket. I'll enter some dimensions here. So 100 millimeters and from this line if I use the center line I can also create the full length of this line in the symmetric version of the part that I'm drawing and these are all the dimensions in the first sketch that I need I could of course then already mirror this part in the sketch but I can much better do that later on it will save me a bit of work so I'll use the base flange feature here of Saltworks sheet metal tools if it's not visible just a right mouse button click on the menu bar and then uh, activate the sheet metal toolbar here I want to have 100 millimeters in length I can change the direction also you can see the preview here it changes the direction in which it's made so it's good like this and now I can create some holes in this part in the symmetrical version so I only need to do that once not twice and saves me a bit of time so I want to create these two lines in the equal way they want it should be have should have the equal length here this length should be 50 and then a dimension from here to here should be fully defining this sketch and next step I'm gonna use these two points to create holes in this part with the whole wizard of SOLIDWORKS and I'll use this point and this point that I already defined so it's easy and immediately everything is already in the, the correct dimensions I can then uh, select the material I'll use steel over here and then I'll mirror this part with the, the mirror functionality that I've got over here and I'll use this face to mirror and then I want to use the whole body to mirror so then I have the, the mirrored version of the sheet of metal part that I want to draw and then in the end I'm going to do an edge flange so I'll create an edge flange over here on this line I can give it my own length here but I can also just uh, use this point for example to fully define the length of the flange on the part I can also use the, another dimension than the 90 degree angle but in this case I do want the 90 degree angle so then I've already finished this sheet metal part there's a, a warning over here and it's got something to do with uh, the way the edge flange is created over here so I can edit it and here I've got some nice previews of how this edge flange should look I want to get the bend outside so there won't be any warning anymore and that's already uh, the, the bracket that you could for example use to hold a beam in place and I've drawn it now in the sheet metal functionality and it's easy to make a 2D drawing of it and an image of that is already in the GrabCAD files over here so you can you can download the files if you're interested and you can also see a preview of it over here already the 2D drawing as well I'll just show very short how you can create it so make a drawing first I need to save the part yeah. I'll save it here as a bracket I'll use the A3 format and then place some views on the 2D drawing like that it's also easy to put a flat pattern on there so just draw it into the drawing and then to dimension the whole bracket it's an easy way Let me see just change a bit of the layout over here change the alignment break the alignment over here and see how that fits on the drawing paper 
like that is good. And then I can uh, enter all the dimensions by using this button over here, model items, and then of the entire model. I want to get all the dimensions. If I want to get the whole wizard locations that I use over there, then I should also use these two buttons and then get all the dimensions inside the drawing. And for the rest, I can easily clean up these dimensions by waiting until this button shows up and then outlining the dimensions with uh, one push of the button. So it's not 100% uh, not the way I want it, but then I can uh, make some small changes to get it in a, an acceptable way. So that's how you can easily draw a bracket in the sheet metal module of SOLIDWORKS.